and harmless, keeping the law, such commandments of the Most High, and faithful in Mashiach, the sons of the Most High, without rebuke. Where? In the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. You know? But we're in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation. We're in the midst of a, a crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine as lights in the world. Say, holding forth the word of life, which is the Most High's word, that I may rejoice in the day of a Mashiach when he come to judge and make war, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. Yeah. And if I be offered up upon the sacrifice and service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all. Save. He's ready. He's ready. To deal with what he had to deal with. They held they hung Paul upside down. Peter upside down. You see? When you look at we in the uh we dealing the truth in this world, a perverse and wicked nation, you know, that we among. That's why Isaiah, go to Isaiah 19 and 14. Isaiah 19 and 14. The most I have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. Hear that? The most have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. And they have caused Egypt to err every work thereof. If we in captivity, that's Egypt's captivity. Exodus 20 and 2. And they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof. As a drunken man staggering in his vomit. That's how the most I look at. It. It's as a drunken man staggering in his, in his vomit. You know? Everywhere we look, is a perverse spirit around us, you know, that he's caused. Because he's the power of this world. You know. That's how he's getting his money. That's how he's doing everything he's doing. You know. A perverse perverse world mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. No matter how you look at it. Go to Psalms 55 and 20. Psalms 55 and 20. He had put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He had broken his covenant. Think about it. When he came into the Western Hemisphere, for sure. Put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. You know, y'all see about the thanks, thanks, I call it thanks taking, they call it thanksgiving, but it wasn't nothing given. So they killed the people that were on the land of of this western hemisphere to get the land he had put forth his hands against such as be at peace with them him i mean was a peaceful people offering them gold and everything he had broken his covenant had over 453 peace treaties the words of his mouth were smoother than butter but war was in his heart war was in his mind smoother than butter that's why it's like it's a smile it's a smile that they show us, but at the same time, it's demonic because there's a demon or they're working with the devil and they're trying not to be seen as the devil because they say the words of his mouth were smooth in the butter. Oh, I, love black, I love black people. Uh, black people are my friends and so forth, but war was in his heart. I mean, think about it. We sat down and showed him how to cultivate the land. You know, they come even when they, today when they stop us, they want to question us. 
We don't be all harsh. We be peaceful people. We're peaceful people. Because we the only people that have not rose up against our enemy. Much has been done to us. That's why I say the words of his mouth were smooth as butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softened in oil. Yet were they drawn swords. You see. They were killing so many indigenous people here. And they were bringing them to the trading post. They say, no, just bring the scalps. They start scalping them. Put them in their bags and bring them to the trading post. Get, get paid. But you got to think about it. That's why they got good cop, bad cop. Both of them bad cops, though. Because, I mean, as far as what they will do and have done, and can't nobody deny this. That's why until they change that, it's going to be always the same. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Uh, can I see your license and registration? And you be just as, just as cool as they are, but they looking for, but war was in his heart. He looking to grab his gun and pull his gun out and kill you, even though you're innocent. He did nothing. But maybe poor didn't have a chance to fix your tailpipe. Or your, I mean, your tail light or something. And you end up dead. Just for a traffic stop. His words were softened and old. Yet were they drawn swords. Yet, yet, yet they pulling out their guns and fulfilling Zechariah 11 and 5. Whose oppressors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And I don't know what decree went out to, to tell them they could just murder us. And it's okay. You will get away with it. After seeing it so many times, it's apparent that they think they can get away with it. But one thing for sure, you got to deal with the judgment of the Most High. You ain't going to avoid that. Proverbs 29 and 2. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, see? And the righteous going to be in authority in the kingdom. People going to be rejoicing. We're going to be rejoicing. But when the wicked bears rule, like we in right now, the people mourn. People mourn. Nobody happy. Look at infl inflation right now. Amongst us non-immigrants, -immig Israelites, that's why I'm not sure I said this. But we wasn't, we not no immigrants. That's why he said in Matthew 24, 22, people mourn when the wicked rule, right? Look how high gas prices are. How high food is. That's what he said. Matthew 24, 22. And except those days should be shortened that we're living in now, there should no flesh be saved. Because their whole objective is eugenics or population decrease. So why, that's why the Most High said, if they ain't shortened the days, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, which are the one third of the twelve tribes of Israel, those days shall be shortened. You see? Days gonna be short. Tells you in twenty nine, verse twenty nine. Immediately after the tribulation of those days that we in now, Jacob's trouble, and all the things that are gonna be happening in this earth that are troublous times, tribulation. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven. They ain't talking about stars in the sky. It's talking about stars, movie stars and all the celebrities and so on shall fall on this earth in death and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. See? Powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Powers of this world shall be shaken. The leaders of this world shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels 
with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect. That's the one third of the twelve tribes of Israel from the four winds, so that's the four corners, from one end of heaven even to the other. So then you know heaven is right here on the earth. That's a heaven. Because that's where we at. His elect is on the earth. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of the trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect. That's the twelve tribes of Israel, one third, mind you, from the four winds. That's the four corners from one end of heaven one end of the earth to the other. Hmm. That's said, I'm not checking Rashad, that's why he said in, what did he say? Uh, and, the, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man, verse 30, in heaven, in this earth, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, right? That's why he said Revelation. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven and power and great glory, right? So Revelation 1 and 7, it says, Behold, he cometh with clouds. What's these clouds? What's these clouds? The same thing that they're investigating. They've got to come up with some kind of explanation, what they call the UFOs. Psalms 104 and 3. Psalms 104 and 3. These are what these clouds are. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot. So the clouds are the vehicles, what they call the UFOs, unidentified flying objects. We call them identified flying objects. Who walketh upon the wings of the wind. That's how they be rolling. And when you understand in the what's in the clouds, Psalm 68 and 17. You say that you make of his clouds are chariots, right? So what are the chariots? Psalm 68, 17. The chariots of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. You see? So it goes right along with what you see, what the Mashiach is saying here in uh, Matthew. Just look at what he's saying in Matthew 24. And uh, 30 and 31, it said, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Everybody going to be crying. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds, which are the chariots or the flying saucers of heaven with power and great glory. Right? And he shall send his angels. Remember? The, the clouds are the chariots, and the chariots are the angels. And he shall send his angels with the great sound of the trumpet. See? And he shall gather together his elect. That's the one-third of the twelve tribes of Israel from the four winds, the four corners of the earth, which we've been scattered among all these nations, from one end of heaven even to the other. Right? So go on to Revelation, the first chapter, the seventh verse. It says, Behold, he cometh, the Samashiach Yahweh the anointed Savior, with clouds. That's the chariots. The angels are the most high. And every eye shall see him. So don't worry about nobody saying he's over here, he's over there. That's why he told you. Don't be concerned about that. He said every eye going to see him. And they also which pierced him. So you're going to get those that pierced him. The Romans and all you that don't believe in him, he's going to get you too. Because you pierced him by talking about him and talking against him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail. Like I said, they're going to mourn. He told you when he was here. They're going to be mourn. They're going to wail. Same thing. Because of him. Even so. I'm not saying that because that's Egyptian God. That's not his name. You know, but y'all say it because y'all so programmed as robots and robotees. When I ask you this question, again, since you, you might have missed it the first time, let me ask you this question. Is that a Mashiach Yahweh Shai? A-M-E-N. Because it tells you in Revelation 3.14, and unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans right? these things said the A-M-E-N. The one y'all say, can I get a A-M-E-N? Y'all say this at the end of your prayer. Is that a Mashiach Yahweh Shai? Is that Jesus Christ? Yes or no? Because it says these things said the A-M-E-N. And that's in red. That's him speaking. Is that his name? 
Yes or no? The faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of the Most High. So the Most High created this A-M-E-N before he created anything else? Hmm? Got to ask yourself. Because a lot of y'all say the Bible been tampered with. Yeah, it's been tampered with right there. That's one way it's been tampered with. But it might be. Y'all say that that's a Mashiach Yahweh Shai. I beg to differ. So what you gonna do when he come for you? And you say, oh, I didn't know. I, I shoulda, woulda, shoulda, coulda. But I didn't. What you gonna do when he come for you? Cause you see the wicked is running everything. And you say if he makes the time short, with no flesh be left. No flesh be left. But for the elect's sake, he gonna make the time short. Isaiah 24 and 5. Isaiah 24 and 5. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Why? Because they have trans transgressed the laws. They have transgressed the laws. And most saying that we're not under the law. That's why the earth defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Because they have trust, transgressed the laws, changed the ordinances, broken the everlasting covenant. See? And that's what we have done as Israelites too. And saying we ain't under the law. That's why the most high gonna get you. That's why you better come back. And realize this is the truth. Look at uh, Ecclesiastes, the 10th chapter. And it says, in verse 5, it says, There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, as an error which proceeded from the ruler, those us in charge. Folly is set in great dignity. Folly. That's why a lot of y'all are dealing with even in this truth. Y'all dealing with formality. But spiritually, you're not understanding the importance of the mysteries that's been hidden in the Most High from the beginning of the world. You should seek out the solutions that's here that our ancestors left us. Jeremiah, King David, Daniel, Ezekiel, Talking about follow your ancestors, see what they wrote through the Spirit of the Most High. They help us come out of this darkness, come out of this ignorance, and humble ourselves before the Most High, before He proceed to bring forth His wrath, His anger, His indignation, His fury on this earth. You remember when we went to the mountain? We was at the edge of the mountain. When the Most High <coughs> came down and had His power. Thunder and lightning. <coughs> we said we don't talk to we don't talk to you, Moses. We don't want to talk to you to the most high unless we die. So why do we have to show up and show out to the point of you feel you're gonna die to fear the most high? This is what it says. It says <coughs> Ecclesiastes 10 and 5. There is an evil as joined. which I have seen under the sun as an error which proceeded from the rulers. Remember we read and it, it don't matter <coughs> who's in charge. We read in Song of Three Holy Children verse 9 it says and thou didst deliver, deliver us into the hands of lawless enemies. Most hateful forsakers of the Most High. And to an unjust king. What is it saying? Ecclesiastes 10 and 5. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun. 
as an heir which proceeded from the ruler. That's an unjust king. It's the end of most wicked in all the world. It says, folly is set in great dignity. Folly, foolishness, is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. He said, I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. We're supposed to be the kings of this earth, the rulers of this earth. But no, we broke the Most High's laws as the Israelites, therefore, we're walking as servants upon the earth. We're supposed to be princes. But no, that's why he said folly is set in great dignity, right? That's why the Most High told us in Deuteronomy 32 and 21. Hear the word of the Most High. Deuteronomy 32, 21. Think about it. folly, foolishness, right? Look what he said. He said, they have moved me to jealousy. We moved the most high to jealousy. We as the Israelites. With that which is not the most high. These religions, that's not dealing with the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because you will be acknowledging the fact that the most high is the power of Israelites. Of the Israelites. The 12 tribes of Israel. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Naphtali, Asher, and Issachar. <clears throat> This is what it's saying. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not the most high. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities. Things that's worthless. And I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. So who are they? They're not a people. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. That's why it says... Ecclesiastes 10 and 6, folly is set in great dignity. Folly, foolishness. A no people in, and a foolish nation is set over us. Dealing with folly is set in great dignity. That's what he's telling us. Hmm. Exalted in high places. And here we are thinking that we're going to follow the same suit as them. Look at Ecclesiastes 7, since we're here, and verse 13. Ecclesiastes 7 and 13. It says, Consider the work of the Most High. For who can make that straight which he have made crooked? Who going to make that straight which the Most High have made crooked? Right? Ask the question, right? Ecclesiastes 1, 15. The answer that's why I say you get to understand through the precepts. That which is crooked cannot be made straight. And that which is wanting cannot be numbered. But we hear say, see what it say. That which is crooked cannot be made straight. So it ain't gonna be made straight. That's why Wisdom Solomon 5 to 7 says, when salvation is coming on this earth, what they're gonna say. We weird ourselves in a way of wickedness and destruction. We've gone through deserts where there lay no way. But as for the way of the Most High and the Mashiach Yavashai, we have not known it. That's why he said, that which is crooked cannot be made straight. Straight up. That's why he asked the question again, just in case you missed it. You can go back over it. Rewind it. Go back over it. <clears throat> you please ask 7 and 13. Consider the work of the Most High. Who For who can make that straight which he have made crooked? See? How you going to make them straight who the Most High have made crooked? That's why, once again, Proverbs 16 and 4, the Most High have made all things for himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. So he made them for the day of evil. That's why I say everyone that is proud in heart, in his mind, is an abomination to the Most High. Though hand joined in hand, we shall overcome. He shall not be unpunished. 
straight up. So we have to look into what it is that is being presented to us so that we can change. We can change. Become a new creature. Be born again. Become a new man or a two, new woman. Because the Most High, He's going to bring the judgment. He's going to bring the judgment on this earth and those that do not adhere to what it is that these scriptures are saying You got to pay the price. That's the judgment of the Most High. What you going to do when he come for you? Hmm? Look at... Uh, Cause we paying the price. Like you said. He going to punish us for our iniquity. The Israelites. Look at uh, Jeremiah 30, Jeremiah 30th chapter and verse 7, Jeremiah 30 and 7, it says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. See, that's what the good news is, it's our trouble. Remember my second shot says it's gonna be uh if he if for the elect's sake he gonna he gotta make the time short or wouldn't be no flesh saved. It's the time of Jacob's trouble. You gotta understand, but he shall be saved out of it. You see? Because when you understand Revelations the twelfth chapter concerning the devil whose job is what? To devour the people. When you understand Revelations twelve and Twelve. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. We here on the earth, people on the earth. Woe, destruction to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath. Remember, he said if he made the time short, he'd kill everybody. You know, that's the whole structure of his being. To try and deal with population decrease so that they figure they can rule a certain amount of people. Bunch of robots and robot T's, they already got them. You don't know what's going to happen to you. You'd have followed the way of the enemy that you were sold to. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath. Why? Because he knoweth that he had but a short time. Then the Master of Shai said, it's going to be great tribulation on this earth, so great that if he, the most I didn't make the time short, would be no flesh left. The devil coming down with much wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. Understand this. Who he coming down upon? Verse 17. And the dragon, which is the devil, was wrought with the woman, which represents Israel. When you read Jeremiah 6 and 2, it says, I've lied. I've likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. So the dragon, the devil, and his forces was wrought with the Israelites and went to make war with the remnant, that's the one-third of her seed, which keep the commandments of the Most High. Now, you know it's not talking about these religions. That's why I said, what well, religion is keeping the moral laws, the civil laws, the dietary laws, the ceremonial laws, if thou can say this talking about the Israelites. The devil coming down on those that keep the commandments, the laws of the Most High. And have the testimony of a Mashiach that was shot. Isaiah 54, 5 and 6. That's what he's coming down, the Israelites. That are keeping the commandments of the Most High. Because he already got those that are not they are part of the one-third group. I mean the two-third group that's going to die 
from the sword, as it said. <clears throat> Isaiah 54 and 5. For thy maker is thy husband. The most high power of hosts, armies, of angels is his name. And thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the power of the whole earth shall be shall he be called. For the most high have called thee as a woman forsaken. See? We the Israelites. <coughs> and grieved in spirit. And a wife of you. When thou was refused, said the Most High. See, for a small moment have I forsaken thee. For a small moment he forsaken us. To the Most High, because the date of the Most High is a thousand years. But with great mercies will I gather thee. Mercies. Not getting something you do to serve over and over again. Will he gather us? In a little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment. To the Most High. So it's a long time to us. But with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, said the Most High Power, thy Redeemer. See, is that beautiful? <clears throat> That's why it said, Isaiah, go to Isaiah 5 and 8. I think that's what I'm saying. Isaiah the fifth chapter the eighth verse. Woe unto them that join house to house, he said, and lay field to field till there is no place. Like you look at it, that's why we had houses, but it was like separated. Well, you couldn't just you take a shower. And you look out your window and look at your neighbor. They come out, they come out, they open up there where you can see their neighbor. We we didn't that's against the law. Most I said destruction to them. That's why you when you look at all the things that they've done, houses right next to each other, apartments right to each right next to each other. Look out the window, you can see someone that's in whatever they're doing in their home. If they had the blinds up, they want to get some air, or whatever. You can look and see whatever's going on. We didn't deal with like apartments like this, like it is, next to each other like this. We didn't deal like that. Woe, destruction of the dim that join house to house. That lay field to field. Till there is no place. Till there be no place. I mean, there's so much land. I mean, you, if you fly across America, you see all this land is just desolate. Nothing's there. They can build houses there. Why don't they build communities there that can be following the way of the Most High? That's why I say they've broken all the laws of the Most High. So there's no place that they may be placed alone in the midst of the earth. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 4, 16. That's what I say. Everybody looking at the world the way it is, it's not the way it's supposed to be. Proverbs 4 and 16. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief. You know that? They can't even sleep unless they have done some mischief. And their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. It is mainly us, Israelites. Say they can't even sleep unless they have done mischief. And their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. You know, the whole object is to bring us down. No matter how you look at it, the scripture says what it says. Verse 19, the way of the wicked is as darkness. So the way of the wicked is as darkness, meaning ignorance and not knowing. When they said in Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 7, that's for the way of the Most High and the Mashiach of Mashiach, we have not known it. So therefore the Most High is light. The Mashiach of Mashiach is light. The Mashiach of Mashiach came to show us how to follow the laws of the Most High, which they don't know because they telling you that you're not under the Most High's laws. You ain't got to follow what the Mashiach of Mashiach did as an example to show us how it can be done coming here in the flesh and showing us that it can be done because he did it. He was an example. But they saying we can't do it. Oh, you can't do that. Law been done away with. Ignorance. 
not knowing. That's why I say the way of the wicked is as darkness. Our people too. They in darkness mean ignorance, not knowing. They know not at what they stumble. They don't know what they stumble in at. Omashek is a stumbling block. They mainly stumble over him. First and foremost, the Most High, because they don't know the Most High. They acknowledge him as the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Jacob being the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel. As it is written, he said, that's my name forever, the memorial to all generations. That's why I keep grinding it and bringing it to you. Because the way of the wicked is as darkness. The way of the wicked is as darkness. I mean, I look at people, they can't, you can't even hold, uh, but some of y'all probably listen to that one lesson. It might be 40 minutes or 50 minutes, whatever, and that's it. That's your attention span. Our attention span is very, very little when it comes down to actually going over the word of the most high. How do you think anyone, I don't care who it is, that is a leader, is able to bring forth what they're bringing forth? It took hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and days and days and months and months and years and years to be able to bring this about. You say come, just no. Dust come from the sky and all of a sudden you got all this? No. You got to take time. How much time do you have to give to the most high? What's more important, the most high or your worlds? I think a lot of people's worlds is more important than the most high. That's why when he rained wrath and terror, and I, I hate to bring forth, you know, the, the, the message of bad news, but it's written all the time, man. Everywhere you look is written. So I say the way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. And wicked Israelites, they don't, I don't care if you open up this Bible, call yourself an Israelite or not. You're still wicked if you ain't able to deal with what it takes to make yourself better in righteousness. And that's what it's all about to me. Because what, else, what, are, you, what are you doing? You could be out there doing whatever you're doing in the world instead of wasting your time with this. That's why my Shai said this to you. Lukewarm suckers out there that's rolling in a way that you think you could just roll in your own way. He already set the program up. He said this. He said, it's sad because we want to do it our way. And our way has always failed. That's why we in captivity, slavery, and bondage and went into captivity, slavery, and bondage over and over and over again as the Israelites because we did it our way and our way always failed. And then whenever something bad happened, then you want to look for sympathy, but it's happening to you because you're wicked. Trying to get your attention. That's why he said, look, Revelation 3 and 15. He said, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that they were cold or hot. He said, I wish it was cold or hot. Leave it alone completely. So like that.